Hi, Dr. Andrea Maxim, naturopathic doctor and the creator of the Maxim Movement here. And I wanted to make another video specifically talking about testing around um, autism and uh, children along that sort of spectrum. So whether it's Asperger's, whether it's uh, trisomy 21 or Down syndrome, any sort of learning inability or learning disability that you're finding with your child, these are some of the most important testing to do. And that's why I wanted to make a whole video on it just so I could focus on that particular piece of information. Now we did in a previous video talk a lot about some of the screening things, which you can definitely watch in that first video. Um, but let's just get right into the testing because this is the most important part and I cannot stress enough how important it is to rule out as much as we can or at least assess as much as we can with regards to weaknesses in your child if we're not doing that then we might miss a piece and when it comes to their ability to learn their cognition their social skills their ability to grow up without having any sort of inabilities or weaknesses, it's incredibly important to rule everything out as quickly as you can. Now, number one, this was very interesting, and this came from a naturopathic doctor in the States, that it's actually been shown mothers who have issues with their thyroid, specifically hypothyroidism, can actually give um, birth to children that have slower digestive tract, slower learning function, because they in turn will also have signs of hypothyroidism. So watching for the thyroid um, antibodies, watching for the thyroid levels, and you wanna be testing for thyroid stimulating hormone as well, um, is very important screening. Even things like iron. So as a child is being reared from birth, typically if they're having formula or what have you, they're getting a lot more um, iron in their diet. However, once they start eating whole foods, a lot of those nutrients tend to start to fall by the wayside or at least get less and you do need to make sure that they're having adequate nutrients so it goes much further than just iron b vitamins choline uh, dha all wonderful things for the neurological system in the brain these all have to be adequate for these children which also brings me then to the mthfr gene the mthfr gene is our major methylating gene and what that means is is it helps the body to detoxify things that it's being exposed to and the key nutrients that help to promote that gene is folic acid. And for these children, it has to be um, the uh, active form of folic acid. It can't just be plain old folic acid. It has to be the um, five methyl tetrahydrofolate. So that absorbs well and it helps the body do what it can't do on its own. B12 is huge here and vitamin B6. So with these kids, if their methylation gene is low or if it's not working at all, you have to be giving them these nutrients to help with the methylation part. And then oxidative stress is huge. And as I said in my previous video, a lot of um, parent blaming and a lot of mom shame and mom guilt comes into play when you're dealing with children with autism or ADHD or any of those things. You have to remember that the environment we're now living in is so counterproductive when it comes to healthy, thriving children that the pesticides, the air quality, um, you know, how long they were in the hospital for, were they exposed to antibiotics as a child? or as an infant, all of these things will displace their ability to handle the oxidative stress it's being exposed to. So keeping the liver functioning well and adding in those extra nutrients will really help. And so while we're on that topic, a comprehensive stool analysis is incredibly important because it gives not only an idea of how well their good bacteria is, but it's also going to lend to some of the bad bacteria that they could be exposed to. So again, if the child is sick or has a fever or for whatever reason needs antibiotics early on in life, then it tends to wipe out the good bacteria. Then the only thing the body knows how to colonize is what it's being exposed to. And in a hospital setting, there's a lot of bad bugs like C. difficile. Yeast is another big, big one that you have to rule out with um, any child that's displaying any sort of health issues because candida overgrowth can really really screw up a whole lot of things digestion brain function skin issues this is a biggie biggie as are parasites 
And then the organic acids test is one of my favorite tests that I like to run with patients. It's a urine test and it lends um, us information. Number one, yeast um, markers are there, fungal markers, bacterial markers, as well as giving us ideas on how their neurotransmitters are working, serotonin and dopamine. How is their detoxification system working? What sort of nutrients are they lacking in? Are their amino acids out of whack? All these things can be um, analyzed from just this one test. So this is the, um, the best comprehensive test that I can certainly lend to you as a place that you want to, at the very, very minimum, rule out a lot of these things because I do find with children the way we're um, presenting or the way we want our kids to act isn't necessarily how they want to act. So if all of these things come up fine, then your child may not have a learning disability. Perhaps it's just their way of communicating with the world. Perhaps they're just a little bit slower at advancing. We jump so quickly to diagnosis and yet we don't take the time to make sure we're ruling out a lot of the other key things that have to be ruled out. If you do have questions or concerns or comments about anything, please um, write it in the comment box. Uh, definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel so you get uh, first access to all of these videos. Or you can even email me directly on my website, www.themaximmovement.com. I'm Dr. Andrea Maxim, naturopathic doctor, the creator of The Maxim Movement, and I hope you have a happy and healthy day.